Mountains take millions of years to form, as tectonic plates slowly move, folding, faulting, and uplifting rock to create towering peaks. But since we don't have millions of years to wait, we're going to recreate this process right here in just a few minutes using our model. Hi, my name's Teddy. I'm a survey geologist at the British Geological Survey. This box may look simple, but it's a great way to visualize how mountains can be formed. Inside, there's a flat base and adjustable blocks. These are our colliding tectonic plates. By turning this handle, we apply force, compressing the sand layers to simulate the immense pressures involved in mountain building. But first, we need material to act as our rocks. The different colors here represent layers of sedimentary rock, like sandstone and mudstone, each with different thicknesses and different properties. This helps us understand how different rock types react under tectonic forces. As I turn the handle, the blocks push the layers together, simulating the collision of tectonic plates. Sped up, of course. Now watch what happens. At first, the layers fold, bending under the pressure. As the force increases, some layers break and slide past each other. This is called a thrust fault, where one slab of rock is pushed over another. This process mirrors how mountain ranges, like the Northwest Scottish Highlands, are formed. Take the Moyne Thrust, for example. Millions of years ago, ancient rock layers were pushed over younger ones during a massive tectonic collision. This model is a small-scale version of that exact process. Now look closely at the mountains forming in the sand. In some places, the layers bend and fold, whereas in other places, the layers fault and break. This shows how different rock types shape the structure of a mountain range. What's fascinating is that this isn't just a look at the past these forces are still at work in places like the Himalayas. At the British Geological Survey, we study faults to assess risks to infrastructure such as roads, railways, and buildings. And this is especially important in areas prone to tectonic activity. It can also help us locate natural resources, as mountain ranges and faults can host valuable minerals and metals. So what we've built here is a miniature mountain range. Simple experiments like this can give us a glimpse into the ongoing processes that are currently shaping our planet. By studying tectonic plate movement, we can understand how the continents have changed in the past, as well as learn about how they might evolve into the future.